everybody, I'm Jillian, and you're watching the Texas State Aquarium's monthly program, The Current. Here at the aquarium, our mission is to connect people to nature and to inspire the conservation of the Gulf of Mexico. In this month's TV show, The Current, we will be covering our summer sea camp program, a look into our party for the planet, and a lot more that's coming up. But first, on Friday, March 21st, the Texas State Aquarium and Flint Hills Resources held a press conference to announce that we are teaming up to create the Flint Hills Resources Center for Excellence in Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math here at the Texas State Aquarium. We're going to transform our education programming with the creation of the new Center of Excellence in STEM Education made possible through an extraordinary partnership with Flint Hills Resources. And that's why I'm so excited today to announce that Flint Hills Resources is committing $1 million to create the new Flint Hills Resources Center for Excellence in STEM Education at the Texas State Aquarium. A gift of this magnitude means that, among other things, we can do serious experimentation and evaluation with new science methods and with try and true, tried and true science education methods. In this community, as in most metropolitan communities in the United States, the fastest growing sector of work is in STEM careers. The center will place a new emphasis on STEM practices and skills featuring the habitats and animals of the Gulf of Mexico. The center is made possible thanks to a million dollar gift to the Aquarium by Flint Hills Resources, which has been the presenting partner for the Aquarium's distance learning program, AquaVision. The Aquarium's Education Department is offering an exciting summer camp experience for children in the Coastal Bend area. Here to tell us a little bit about Sea Camp 2014 is Randy from our Education Department along with Gabby to tell us a little bit more about the camp. Hey Randy, thank you for joining us today. Can you tell us about Sea Camp? I can. Sea Camp is a fun educational camp we have here at the aquarium. Some of the activities we have including boating, fishing, all kinds of aquatic activities. When the kids come here they have a wet, wild, fun time. Uh, in the classroom we'll have hands-on, science-based activities that the kids can do. And the goal for this camp is when the kids come here on Monday and they leave on Friday, not only will they have lots of fun, but they'll have some knowledge of the marine environment and our area specifically the Gulf of Mexico they can take home with them to the parents. And what are the age groups? The age groups for our summer camp range from four and five year olds which are our sea sports all the way up to high school seniors which are our aquanauts. Okay and how much does this camp generally cost? The camp prices range it depends on what group you're coming in. The sea sports which is usually our most inexpensive group starts about $120 if you're a member all the way up to the aquanaut camp which is about $355 for the older kids. However, we do have scholarship available. They are partial scholarships that you can go online to our website and look at that. And there's all the information you need to know about that there. What are the camp's daily hours? The hours basically are from 7.30 in the morning till 5.30 at night. It's a Monday through Friday camp. Uh, the kids, we actually start organized activities starting at 8.30 in the morning and all the way to 4.30. So you have the option of dropping them off as early as 7.30 in the morning and picking them up as late as 5.30 in the afternoon. Well, Randy, if they have any questions, how can they contact you? Easy. If you need to get a hold of me for any reason, questions or concerns, you can call me at 361-881-1234 or email me at rslayton at txstateaq.org. Well, thank you so much. And back to you, Julian. The aquarium's new Nearshore experience will be open to the public on Wednesday, April 9th. The Near Shore Gallery has been undergoing extensive renovations for several months, and species such as white ibises, spoonbills, stingrays, and fish that are local to the Near Shore and marsh areas will be making their debut in this new immersive exhibit this month. A wraparound photo mural featuring a local Near Shore environment has been installed, and the saltwater and the sand has been added to the exhibit. Be sure to follow us on Twitter or like us on Facebook for final updates on this project. On Friday, March 14th, the Texas State Aquarium released a mallard duck back into its natural environment. The duck was brought into the aquarium's Second Chances Wildlife Rehabilitation Hospital in February after being picked up by Corpus Christi Animal Care Services. The duck was admitted because of abrasions to the head and face caused by a dog. After receiving treatment for its injuries, the duck was returned back to the Lakeview Park where it was found. We'll be right back after this message. When you're this close, you see things differently. When you do this, you connect. When you come to the Texas State Aquarium, you feel this way. Exotic animals are so close you can see them breathe. 
Watch them. Touch them. These are memories in the making. The Aquarium's Party for the Planet is just around the corner, and joining us is Kara, our marketing manager, to tell us a little bit more about this event. Thank you, Kara, for joining us. Can you go ahead and tell us about the event? Sure, so our Party for the Planet event is our big Earth Day celebration. And the best part is that all the activities are free with your aquarium admission. And so this is all taking place on Saturday, April 19th from noon to 4 p.m. Uh, we'll have scavenger hunts, we'll have an obstacle course out, we'll have lots of fun, um, sustainable arts and crafts going on, some really cool animal encounters. So there's lots of cool programs to check out that day. Well, that certainly sounds exciting. And again, that is our Party for the Planet on April 19th from noon until 4 at the Texas State Aquarium. Each month, the Texas State Aquarium has a local chef come prepare seafood and dishes for you to learn how to make and to sample. For April, we will have a very special class focusing on lionfish. Joining us now is Jessica from our education department and Katie to tell us a little bit more about the Sensational Sustainable Seafood Cooking class. Thanks, Jillian. Hello, everyone. I'm Katie, and thank you for joining me today. I have Jessica here from our education department and she's gonna be telling us about uh, the Texas State Aquarium's next sensational, sustainable seafood cooking class event. Um, Jessica, what's mm -hmm. on the menu for the next big event? Excellent question. Uh, our next sensational, sustainable seafood class will be held on April 15th, and it's gonna be a big to-do. We actually have two guest chefs joining us, uh, one from Tavern on the Bay by Harrison's Landing, and the other from Doc's Seafood Restaurant out on the island. And we are featuring a very special presentation by Jorge Brenner of the Nature Conservancy on lionfish. <gasps> lionfish? Mm -hmm. I thought lionfish were poisonous. Actually, lionfish are considered venomous, not poisonous. So once you remove those spines, and we'll go over that at the event, uh, they're perfectly good to fillet like any other fish. I hear they taste quite buttery and delicious. Oh, yummy. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, um, so if someone wants to participate, how do they go about reserving a spot? Yep. Very easily. Uh, you can simply call my office. Again, my name is Jessica Grumman. My phone number is 361-653-2654. Or you can email me at jgrumman, that's J-G-R-U-M-M-A-N, at txstateaq.org. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jessica. You're very welcome. Thanks. Back to you, Jillian. And now here's some more information about upcoming events at the aquarium. The HEB Splash Park will be open on Friday, April 18th for Good Friday. And just a reminder that the Splash Park is only open on weekends until Memorial Day. Come to Sea Lab for homeschool science classes on Wednesday, April 16th. Each class is unique and employs hands-on discovery activities. Classes are available for grades K through 12 and are at least two hours long. For more information and reservations, please contact Randy Slayton at 361-881-1200 or visit our website at texasstateaquarium.org. Love animals as much as we do? If so, the aquarium is a great place to work, volunteer, or intern. For current position openings, please visit our website at texasstateaquarium.org. And if you're interested in volunteering here at the aquarium, there will be a volunteer information session on Saturday, April 12th in the TSA boardroom on the second floor at 9 a.m. Once again, the Texas State Aquarium will be a host location for the Coastwide Spring Adopt-A-Beach cleanup on April 26th. You can register ahead of time by contacting Rosie or at the tent the morning of the cleanup, which will be held right outside the aquarium. The cleanup will happen on North Beach from 9 a.m. to noon on April 26th. For more information, please call 361-881-1200. And that's all for this month on The Current. Thanks for joining us and be sure to tune in next time for more information about what's going on at the Texas State Aquarium. If you have any questions about the aquarium or anything you saw on this program, you can visit our website at texasstateaquarium.org. See you next month.